Guys, a bizarre story involving a North Jersey native, a murder, and an end times cult is sweeping headlines across the country. Stephen Mineo was 32 years old when he was shot and killed on July 15th in Coolbaugh, Pennsylvania, which is about 100 miles north of Philadelphia. He's a North Arlington, New Jersey native who had fallen in with a so-called reptilian cult involving doomsday prophecies and beliefs that people, including those in high office, are alien reptiles in disguise. Police have arrested Barbara Rogers, his girlfriend, and charged her with murder. That's when the story gets a little bit unusual. Rogers allegedly confessed to police that she killed Mineo, but he wanted her to do it. He wanted to escape this cult and told her to shoot him in the forehead, which she obliged, and he was killed. Now, the group's leader, Sherry Schreiner, has denied that this belief system is a cult and has taken to a radio show to say that she warned Mineo about being involved with Rogers. You know, Steve wasn't involved in a cult. And I'm not a cult, and I'm not a cult leader. And so I want to set that straight because Barbara's trying to settle up her defense because everything she said was a lie. And so, uh, you know, she's trying to get out of it. She's, she hunted Steve down, picked his head up from the floor and put a bullet in his head and so. These people believe that they are prepping for the end of the world. It's a very bizarre story and a really sad one for Mineo's family. Jim McQueenie, host of NJ Now, you got a lot of experience in news and media. What do you think? As long as you weren't going to say experiencing cults, I was with you on this well, one. Well, you right? did work in politics. <laughs> right, and there's two big cults, Republicans and Democrats, right? right. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you look at this cult phenomena and, and have to say, Who's crazy is this to be doing this? I mean, and everybody looks at this, right? You know, you stuck up on something with politics. Like, this, this is not equating this at all, but we do have a president right now who sits down with Alex Jones who talks about how Hillary Clinton emits a sulfuric odor because she's, like, satanic. Look, everyone has the right to believe what they want to believe and be friends with whoever they want to be friends with. If you want to be part of a cult, that's fine, but don't say the devil whispered in your ear, that's why you murdered someone. My answer to that is get the hell out of here. Sabil, there's a great saying about lunacy versus something else, right? If you're having a monologue with God, that's called prayer. If you're having a dialogue with God, that's called crazy. It's scary that, that someone felt that they needed to escape run away, and maybe that they didn't feel like they had an avenue to do so. You know, maybe you're impressionable at the time, maybe you're vulnerable, maybe you go to the group because it's giving you a, uh, something else in your life that you're not getting elsewhere, but if you decide one day you want to leave, can you leave? I have some yeah. level of understanding of people getting swept up in, in certain cults, but when they start talking about lizard people walking around, like, come on. Look, how I do you get caught up in that? How does that As does they that said, happen? As they said in the line in Winter, Brian, in a world where carpenters rise from the dead, anything is possible.